Hi, welcome to Jamaicans.com. I am Chef Noel Cunningham, cookbook author, food writer, culinary consultant from Cuisine by Noel. And guess what? This is the first episode of What's Cooking with Chef Noel. And today I'm going to make for you a coconut braised chicken thigh with a gnocchi. So before I get started, you know, in the cooking, I got all my stuff here already. Um, just a little about, you know, what's cooking with Chef Noel. What's, you know, what's it all about? So what's cooking with Chef Noel is a series that I started on my YouTube page back in 2016. So the whole aim of this was just to show, you know, my viewers, my followers, you know, how to make some simple dishes using fresh ingredients that they can make at home. Of course, you know, we all like a nice restaurant quality meal. We're all, you know, Jamaicans are Jamaicans at heart and we like, you know, hearty food. So it's my, you know, job as a chef to show you how, you know, you can make these dishes at home. So about myself now, well, of course, I am no stranger to Jamaicans.com. Um, if you follow all the recipes, I'm sure you have came across my name at some point. You know, for the cheesecake and Easter bun and all these, you know, Jamaican goodies. So I'm here now in my home here in Toronto, going to prepare something for you that you can try at home. So make sure you share this video, share to some friends that you think might, you know, want to see it. And also you can leave a comment of a dish that you want me to prepare next time. As well as if you have questions, you know, you can ask me some questions. I will definitely answer you. So let's get cooking. So what we're going to prepare first is our chicken thigh, which is right here. I'm using a boneless chicken thigh. And the reason for that is it cooks very fast. It cooks very fast. And I like the chicken thigh because it has more flavor than just the regular chicken breast. Than just a regular chicken breast, right? Then we're gonna serve these with some dumplings. So it's a chicken and dumpling kind of day today. So my aim really is to show you guys, you know, how to create something a little bit different from the norm. Of course, you know, we like with chicken and with dumpling, but I'm gonna have some chef touch to it and refine it and show you how you can make yours at home. So let's get cooking. All right, first we need to add some oil to our pot. Because we're gonna sear our chicken thigh so we can get these nice and golden. And we have a nice heat, nice temperature. All right, so push this over here. So we got four chicken thighs right here, all deboned, all deboned already and you know skinless in here now i have salt i got some black pepper right there some paprika i'm using small paprika i got some garlic powder right there some cayenne pepper for some nice spice onion and garlic powder some pimento berries and we got some all-purpose seasoning right here so we just need to just combine these and then we're gonna season our chicken with it. So just making a nice little dry rub. Your chicken is already washed and packed dry so make sure you know you rinse your chicken and these are already washed and dry. So braising is just a slow method of cooking and this gives us time to you know develop flavor while you slow cook instead of you know speeding up the process so that's enough season right there and this you can also do ahead of time so you can have your meat you know all marinated then i'm going to put just a little soy sauce over this So we get a nice dark color. And 
remember so we're gonna serve our braised chicken thigh with some dumpling aka noki so you know it's noki aka dumpling of course so it's a chicken and dumpling day today and we all like our chicken and dumpling but just adding a little chef touch to it refining it and of course you know our cuisine is out of many one we are very diverse so we're putting a spin on things today <laughs> So these are nice, yeah man. So they are nice temperature for this, just to give it a nice golden color. Then we're gonna remove these and then we're gonna make our sauce, then we're gonna add back our chicken thigh to it. I can't go too high of a temperature because you know my fire alarm will go off. But you know. If you have a nice cast iron skillet, that's a perfect one to use. And this dish is also a comfort, you know, a nice little comfort dish. So we get a nice color already. It's getting golden already. Yeah, so my book is available on Amazon and Amazon.com, Amazon CA, um, CA as well. It's there available. I didn't even fully um introduce myself. I didn't even fully introduce myself, but I was so excited to get cooking, so I didn't talk much about myself. But yeah, I have a cookbook. It's called Cuisine by, by Noel. And it's available on Amazon. I also, you know, do writing for the Jamaica Gleaner. I also write for the Toronto Caribbean newspaper. Jamaicans.com as well. I contribute recipes. So that's what I do. And, you know, catering here in Toronto. Cuisine by Noel, that's the name of the company and the book as well. So our chicken ties are coming nicely together. Let's just cook some more. And then, so once we remove these, we're going to saute some onion, some garlic and some ginger. And then we're going to add some tomato paste and make a nice little sauce with some stock. What part of the chicken is your favorite? What part of the chicken is your favorite? Let me know in the comment section. Yes man, these chicken thighs are big. Well, you like the wing? Keisha says she likes the wing. Kiki says she, li says she likes the Thai already, yeah? So these now, so what we'll do now is just remove these and rest over here. It's a nice color. We can work with this. 
You could go a bit dark if you wish, or you know, a bit crispy as well. So I need to take off some of this oil. I think that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is use the same pot and get some garlic, some ginger and onion inside. So we'll start our stew now. You know at home we always just add it to it. That, that's a good thing when you're making small portion of food. You can be very, you know, creative, um, you know. You can add more flavors and but it, like we're doing in bulk. Now then I would have to add all my, my stuff on this and start braising it. But because it's just four pieces, I can always remove them and start my sauce. Wing easily. The best. Is your book available on Amazon UK? Yes, it's on Amazon UK as well. And guess what? I have a treat for you guys. I'm also going to make a cocktail today. So you don't want to miss that. I'm going to make a easy cocktail. Um, this recipe is actually from my um, book as well. But it's very easy. Very, very easy. Using apple can rum. So you're in for a treat today. I'm adding some tomato paste right here now. And where are you watching from? Where are you watching from? Where in the world are you? I like to use my tomato paste because it adds you know, some color as well as a nice rich body to it. It's like using your arm um, and your ketchup, right? Jamaica, Jamaica, Maryland in the house, Queens, New York, New York, New York. Yes, man, so. Mm. We're just adding a little soya sauce to it. Then right away now we need to add, so I use some, some fine diced carrot and potato, you know, just to add some body and, you know, make it more yummy. And of course we need some skillet and thyme. So it's like a nice rich stew. I want to turn this down very low because we still need to make our gnocchi. So this is going to just be low, just doing its thing over here. Then we're going to add back our chicken thighs now to it. But we need to eat this now with some salt. And pepper. It's, I think when you go to the link, you can click the one that you see and then you will see the art cover. And that's some fresh pepper. I think the one you're seeing there is the the ebook. So it's a nice, rich, you know, stew with lots of veggies in it. Sorry. Alrighty, so now it's time for the dumplings. So I'm going to make our dumplings. So just in case you're just joining, welcome to Jamaicans.com. Make sure you like the page. Make sure you sign up for your notification. This is What's Cooking with Chef Noel. And we're making chicken and dumpling today. It's just braised chicken thigh with gnocchi. And gnocchi is a 
Italian dumpling. It has a feel between like pasta and you know mashed potato. It's like a mashed potato pasta, basically. And this is a great way to use up leftover roast potato or even mashed potato. So that's what we're gonna make now. We have some sauce over here simmering for our chicken. Nice rich gravy, and then we're gonna add back our chicken to this in a short while. But let's make our gnocchi first. All right, so what we need for this now is potato. Then we need flour. So I'm using at least two potato. This recipe calls for two potato and flour, an egg yolk. I'm gonna use some fresh thyme leaves in there. And then these now is just gonna, you know, pan fried. So, so what I did earlier was I boiled my potato until they're very soft. You can roast these and all you, and all you have to do is just cut your potato, use a spoon and scoop it out, or you can always just peel away. And if you have a rice at home now, you can rice your potato or you can just mash it until it's very, very creamy. No liquid to it, just the potato. So what we need now is one egg, one egg yolk, we're gonna put some fresh thyme leaves in there, add some freshness to it. Then I'm gonna use half of this flour to it, cause this is just one potato. But but this recipe calls for two potato usually. So that's the potato, the flour, the egg, and the thyme leaves. So all you have to do now is just knead these together nicely and create a dough. So we're getting messy in the kitchen. You know it's good when it's messy, right? That's what they say. So these are gonna be, so I'm gonna pan fry these. Get them nice and crispy on the outside and pillowy on the inside. So remember I said earlier, if you have leftover mashed potato, it's a great recipe for that. Or leftover roast potato. So I need a little more flour. This is a bit wet. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna put this over here, that right there. Our surface is clean, all clean. And what we need now is to, this is what you need, a nice little ball. It comes together so easy. And that's what you're looking for, you know, a nice little dough. And then now, all we're gonna do is get a little flour here on the surface. And then we're gonna roll these. Not too fast to get it all mashed, but nice and gentle. This one, um, the chicken I'm making is, um, it's a Jamaican style. So it's, you know, it's a regular braised chicken that we are familiar with. But this is just the dish, the side dish that's going to go with it. It's a dumpling. So it's similar to our dumpling, but it's an Italian dumpling. So we're just adding, you know, some Jamaican flair to it. Yeah, and, and that's what you want it, and then we can just cut these in two. You cut. So, a great way, you know, just to make something fancy. 
we have time at home now, right? We can just use up our kitchen skills and... So for these now, there are many ways that you can do these. You can just press these like that. And leave it like that. Or if you want, you can make these into ball. Some, you know, some nice balls. Also, there's a next way that you can roll these on the fork just to... Let me just wash my hands over here. Hold on. Yes, man. So it's not fully Jamaican, but it's a, a jatale dish. A jatale dish. It's a jatale dish. All right. So Simone is asking, where is my Noki board? So that's a good question. Where is my Noki board? So the Noki board would give them a nice. All right, so our chicken ties can have back now. So these are our chicken ties that we did earlier. And then now, I'm gonna eat this now with some coconut cream. So it's a coconut braised chicken. So the, we're all familiar with our braised chicken, right? But this is a different way that, you know, you can serve it. It's just one way of doing it. We'll just allow this to simmer. Yeah man, Jatalian, Jatalian. We just leave that right there now just to simmer. Yeah man, Jatalian dish today. So Simon is asking where is my Noki board? So I'm using a fork, so we're at home. Not everyone has a no keyboard. I would have access to one. You can just add your, let me get a little flower on this. And lightly roll these. And you give them a nice little mark. Let me do one more. So yeah, just adding some texture to it. And then and the good thing for no keys are like, look, they don't have to be all like uniform. But if you can get them uniform, then that is good. So you give them a nice little mark. Just like that. Roll it off the fork. I'm sure someone catch it, right? Just roll it off nice like that. Nice pillowy dumpling. So, we, so we're representing the Jatalians today. Because, you know, we have Jamaicans all over the world, right? And even though it's Jamaicans.com, we love everybody. We're showcasing the culture to the world, as you see in bold say, and we accept every culture at the same time. So we're going to do stuff like, you know, with Chinese influence, you know, you name it. Because our food is out of many one. And, those would, and that would be your um, dumpling. So what you need to do now is boil these. Yes, yeah, so this... <laughs> So get some water going over here, add some salt to that. And I've made some ahead of time. So in this noki is the flour, the potato, the egg. Then I add um we had some salt in there as well, guys. Some salt was in there. In the mashed potato. Some salt was in the mashed potato. So salt, the flour, the egg, fresh thymes, um, thyme leaves. Alrighty.
So this one now, and that's our chicken over there going. That's the coconut braised chicken. So we're gonna boil our um, gnocchi lightly. So we need to add some oil to our pot because we're gonna pan fry these once they come from the hot water over there. Just a small amount, not too much. Yeah, that's good. Lightly pan fried. And then we also got some green peas for it. I want to add some butter to it once it's all going. And our chicken is almost ready. So we added some coconut to our chicken with some tomato paste. And it's a nice flavor going on. So what dish would you like to see me make um next week? What dish next week? <clears throat> so, so what we need is our water to be boiling, like you know, a rolling boil. So that's pretty good. What dish for next week? What dish would you like to see Chef Noel make next week? watching from Richmond, Texas. That's good. So how do we know when our gnocchi is ready? When they start to flow to the top. You know, they are telling us, look, chef, I'm ready. Take me out. So shake so they don't stick. And these, you can always make these ahead of time. And you can freeze the dough as well. So you make it like this, you can freeze it, so when you're ready, you just pull and to the hot water. You want to make my favorite dish next week? That's only like oxtail, man. You want to make oxtail next week? Alright, so that's enough. So we don't need them, yeah. So our chicken thighs are pretty much ready. Just allowing this to reduce. Garlic shrimp. Sounds good. I'm thinking something seafoodish for next week. Pepper shrimp. What's your favorite Jamaican food? What's your favorite? What's your favorite? What's your favorite Jamaican food to have? For me, I like a good oxtail. What do you like? Tell me what you like. Let's interact. It's a live interactive show. So tell me what you like. Your favorite Jamaican food. Or do you have a favorite spot maybe? So these are floating already. Salmon. A nice vegan dish. Yeah, we're going to do vegan as well because... Most people don't believe that, you know, um, Jamaicans or Caribbean people, we have vegan food. And, of course, we're not credit the Rasta because the Rasta culture, you know, they started promoting this whole vegan thing, which is Ital. And they changed the name from Ital to vegan, but we have to credit the Rasta, you know, the Rastas. Stew peas and rice. Simone says stew peas. But I don't eat pigtail, so guess what? I can't make soupies without um with pigtail. So these are floating now, which means they are ready. So we need to pan fry these right away. Right off. Uh 
I'm sure you guys love your pigtail, you know. So what we do now, so after we boil these, we're giving these a nice little crispiness on the outside. So on the outside, it's going to be crispy. On the inside, it's going to be nice and soft and pillowy. It's similar right to, to a um, Jamaican overnight dumpling, don't it? I use smoked oxtail from Bronx. Okay, you're in the Bronx, yeah man. Big up Bronx, that's my place, you know. The Bronx are my place. Shout out to Bronx. Yes man, the smoked oxtail on Bronx, you know man. White Plains Road. Fried Fish and Festival, yeah. That's a good one. So wanna get a nice golden color on the outside. And I'm going to just turn these and I'm going to eat them with some pepper, some fresh pepper. And then we're going to add some green bean. So make sure you share this video, share it to your friend who, you know, might want to see it, see what's happening. I have a little bit too much in the pot so it went cold but we're getting there we're getting a nice golden texture and color right there yeah so most of them i use smoke oxtail yeah and um turkey neck is good as well and if I'm making like a, um, a vegetarian one, then I might use a little um, salt fish in it. In Jamaica, I know they have the pickled, um, I saw the pickled salt fish, um, the pickled um, turkey neck. So it's like corn. Yes, so this is what you want. Nice and golden like that. That's what we're looking for. So we need high temperature, then we got to use some fresh pepper on these. Moki loves pepper. Then, just a little bit of a flavor right there. Add some corn, some um, peas to this, some green peas. If you want, you can add some corn to it. Woo! Some persons, when they're making gnocchi, they add um, ricotta cheese to the dough. You can if you wish. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of um, Parmesan cheese to this, just a little. You don't have to add no Parmesan cheese to it. And if you're serving this with like fish or salmon, um, seafood, I would always do some lemon zest on it, just to bring up the freshness. All right, so that's ready, so that's off. Our chicken is ready as well. Nice and tasting good already. Add a little taste earlier. I'm gonna taste a little already. 
and that's that right there so I'm gonna plate this up about now You ready? You ready? Ready to eat, everyone? Are you ready to eat? See, it's chicken and dumpling with green peas. I'm just gonna drop this chicken thigh right on top, right here. Just gonna spoon some sauce all over it. Yes, man, and we'll just add a little garnish, you know, chef it up a little. And that's our chicken and dumpling. All right, now, so before we eat, we're gonna make a cocktail, you know, just to cool things down a bit, you know, so we like a little drinks, especially now in quarantine. We are all sipping something at home. I'm sure you're sipping something at home. Um, so what I'm gonna share now is a recipe from my book. It's just Appleton rum, with ginger simple syrup that I made. So all we need for this is ice. So you're at home you want to make something i'm sure you have all these ingredients but i like to show you my way i like to show you my way and then you can always do it your way and then i also like to give you know options so as i said earlier this recipe is in my book and the book is available on amazon.com um, ca uk so for this recipe i'm using a drink a pink you know, pink grapefruit um, soda. So it's an Italian soda as well. So I guess I'm Italian today, right? I'm Italian today. So it's an Italian um, soda. And then I'm using some Appleton rum. And I'll be using some ginger simple syrup that I made earlier. So all you need is one cup sugar, one cup water. And you allow that to, you know, simmer and reduce for like maybe 20 minutes with some ginger smashing it. And then you have a nice syrup looking like this. And you can use this in anything at all, like your tea. You can use this in any other cocktail. So what I need to do before I add my ice is, I'm, so the lime, I zest some lime. So I'm reusing it to rim my glass. So what I'm gonna do now is rim it. Then, this is lime zest and sugar right there. Just to add some wow. Right there, boom. And they think you're a bartender, eh? Your friends come and think you're a bartender. So we got our ice, we remove our glass. We need to add some simple syrup to this, 0.5 ounces of simple syrup, yeah. That's gonna give it a nice ginger flavor. Then we need to add our apple tan rum. So I need two ounces. And if you're like me, you add three ounces. I'm not driving. I'm not going anywhere. I'm home. Then we need now to add our pink grapefruit juice. Now, if you don't have pink grapefruit soda, what you can do is you can always use thing, right? But I like the color from the grapefruit. 
I think that's what I like. The color. Yeah, you just do a little something, something, something. If you wish. You put a little straw there. And I'm taking you to the island. And that's our cocktail right there. Yeah, so let's go over here now. It's time to eat. It's time now to eat. And that's our creation today with What's Cooking with Chef Noel right here on Jamaicans.com. It's a coconut braised chicken with dumpling, no key, some might call it, or most might call it with a nice cocktail over there to pair with it as well yes man and the cocktail is very easy so if you want to make this cocktail you can always use some thing and ginger beer with the apple tan rum and your if you don't want to use simple syrup so i want to give us a stir and see what's happening and it's give you a nice airy vibe. The apple is not too much. You get the ginger, you get the grapefruit, give you a nice, you know. And it's nice for spring. And then for this now, it's just like for um, garnish. Makes it look good, as well as if you're sipping, you have some nice lime zest, you know, coming through. It's time now to dig in for our dumpling. These are pretty good. So it's not like a dumpling dumpling like our Jamaican dumpling. It's between, it's like a mashed potato and pasta. So just imagine like a mashed potato, you know, pasta. Let's think about the two same time, right? And then we have our chicken right here. Where's my knife? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's cooked all the way through. And then you just want to just... And, it's a nice comfort food that you know it's gonna look all messy after a while so it's not gonna be all pretty and the chicken it's not too much coconut uh, milk is in it so it's nice and light not too coconutty <laughs> if that's a word and then you have the flavor of the green peas you know coming through with the um with the dumpling so if you like a dish, give me some heart, you know, give me some smiley face. Tell me what's up. Do you like a dish? Is it something that you would try? Let me know. Um, as well as comment, you know, your dish that you want me to make next week. And next week we'll do it all over again. So make sure you like the page. Make sure you share. And make sure you stay tuned so that next week we're going to do it all over again. A different dish each week. And... My book, some person were asking, it's on Amazon.com and CA. It's Cuisine by Noel, 100 recipes, you know, with stories, personal story, you know, from my journey. As time go by, I will share some journey with you each week. So this week is just our introductory week. Next week, we'll start, you know, some story and you'll get to know me more and I'll get to know you some more as well. And we become family, right? So until next week. Go and eat a food, alright? Take care.